So where is Germany's food sector heading? Let's put this question to our studio guest today, Ursula Hudson from Slow Food, a global association that, and I read that on your website, links the pleasure of food with the responsibility of people towards the environment. It sounds interesting. What, what exactly does that mean? Oh, Slow Food tries to combine really the pleasure of eating and all the enjoyment you get from eating, social settings, good food, with responsibility. We say uh, we have to make sure that the generations after us have a, um, a planet worth living on and beautiful. And the food sector has so much impact on how we deal with our environment. Um, so we can combine these two things. So we are responsible. In uh, food lovers, basically. Okay, so fun and responsibility, yes. but whose responsibility is it to achieve that? The consumers or the manufacturers? It's all our uh, responsibilities. We have to work together and we shouldn't forget the politicians as well. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, we need to do it all together in order to achieve um, a responsible attitude towards consumerism, um, particularly when it comes to food. And how much power does the consumer have? Because he's the one who chooses what to buy. Actually, a lot. If he, if he were to know what he is really doing, so you need a lot of knowledge about food, and we live in a knowledge crisis when it comes to food. People can't cook anymore, um, and um, it's not passed on to the generations as it was. It's not all bad, um, but it's important to regain the knowledge about food because food is so important for us. We eat about ninety thousand times in a lifetime. Mm -hmm. So every day we have to do that. And, you know, since we have to do it every day, we can enjoy right. it and make the best of it. Okay, um, I don't know how often we eat in a lifetime, but daily, hopefully, daily. <laughs> uh, in, in, in our part of yes. the world, certainly. Yes. Um, but nevertheless, usually quality food costs more money. You say we have to think about it. But in these days, we're surrounded by economic crisis, left, right and centre. Do we actually have time to think about it and pay the price? Yes, we have to, because um, the food we consider as cheap actually isn't cheap. It isn't a bargain. If we think about uh, the costs that come from, produce, come from producing food in a, in a uh, affordable or cheap manner, um, that is actually rather expensive. Think of the salad bags, ready washed mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. used. Yeah, they I are use them, highly, 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 highly expensive compared to, oh. to um, a proper lettuce. Yeah. Um, and so we have to think of the external costs. If we add them on to what food really costs, I would guess that the organic carrot would have a, a feast day because it would be so much cheaper than anything else. Um, that's one thing. And the other thing is if one has knowledge about food and can cook and do things, you can feed yourself with very good, high quality food um, in a cheap manner. And okay. we have to eat less meat. Okay. A passionate plea for responsible, high quality food. Yes. Ursula Hudson, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.